what's up guys we're back and today we have a guide for you for the brand new dungeon that just came out duality i hope you guys enjoyed i know a lot of people are having difficulty with the final boss and just getting the mechanics down and knowing when to stun and everything so hopefully this guide helps you out and i hope you guys enjoy and you can let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the guide and you'd like to see more stuff like this from me uh, let me know in the comments below um, let's get straight into it there are two major mechanics in this dungeon the second one we will get to later in the video the main one you want to focus on is these bells. These bells will teleport you from what we'll call in this video the light dimension and the red dimension. You are able to shoot the bell from anywhere if you are in the light dimension to teleport into the red one. If you are within the red dimension, everyone in the fire team must be within the circle around the bell. There should be a little beam, a little smoky beam you could see. Everyone has to be within that circle before you shoot and teleport back to the light dimension. If you do not do that, everyone outside the circle will die. Also something to note, as you are navigating your way through the dungeon until you reach the first encounter, you will notice that once you enter the red dimension, new platforms will spawn and ads will also be there so the one thing you're doing until you reach the first encounter is navigating your way through the dungeon shooting the bells to go into the different dimensions and you're going to use the different dimensions to spawn the platforms to move forward and navigate your way until you reach the first encounter upon entering the first encounter you will notice the two bells on either side of the room and the leviathan symbols dog chalice axes and cup these symbols are the second mechanic that you will need to know for this whole dungeon so let's get into how you complete the first encounter upon entering there will be two rooms open on opposing sides of the bell you will go into each room and you will kill the ads and defeat the scion once the yellow bar scion is defeated there will be a flag with the symbol on top of it in front of you once you collect it you will get a buff on the left side of your screen claiming that you have collected it. Once you have collected the symbols in the red dimension, you have to go kill the bell keepers and rotate back to the bell. Make sure all your teammates are within the circle of the bell and shoot the bell and go into the light dimension. Once you are in the light dimension, you can take your flags with the symbols on top, take it to its corresponding symbol and slam it into the ground. Once you slam it into the ground, the door in front of you will open with some ads in front of it. Clear the ads and look back and there should be two bell keepers near the bell. Kill the bell keepers. Make sure you are inside of the room that you just cleared and shoot the bell from inside the room. You will teleport to the red dimension where you will see visions of Galoran. There will be a number of visions of Galoran in this area. You will work your way through the path defeating the visions of Galoran. And once you have defeated all the visions, the door will open on the opposing side that you spawned in. Make sure you defeat the bell keepers that will be right in front of you and you have just entered damage phase. The best thing to do for damage phase is to just go right up to him, pop a bubble, pop a well, and just DPS him right in the middle of the arena. Try to make sure you're not too close to where the bell keepers were or you won't have enough time to go to the bell and to teleport yourself back to the light dimension. Um, for DPS strats, there wasn't really anything that stood out. The, this boss and the final boss don't have a lot of health so we just use lament and we just ran through him in a couple phases um, I think if you if you have three people and you run lament or linears you should be fine um, but all in all it was a very easy fight you will just have to repeat the process by collecting the symbols slamming the slamming the symbols into its corresponding section and killing the visions and once you do that the damage phase will start again and you will do this continuously until the first encounter is done this next part i wouldn't really call an encounter but as you make your way through after the first encounter you will come upon this room in this room you have four statues in the light dimension and four statues in the dark dimension in the red dimension there are switches at the back of the statues that say activate those statues control the statues in the light dimension your basic goal here is to turn the statues in the light dimension while activating them in the red dimension all the statues turn counterclockwise so you can just look at which statue you're going to and go to that one activate it a couple times till they're facing the bell and once you do that there should be a chest that spawns and you can make your way onto the next part of the dungeon this is the third encounter of the dungeon and it's not really a boss fight more like a series of mini boss fights 
with a boatload of ads. So if you're gonna do this encounter, make sure you bring your forbearance with chain reaction, your deafening whisper, anything for ad control would be great. The hardest part about this encounter is understanding where the symbols are when you teleport to the red dimension from the light. It's very difficult to find out where you are and your orientation and everything. So here is a great Picasso paint drawing of where everything is in the red dimension. As soon as you start the third encounter, there will be two symbols in the middle of the arena. Those symbols will correspond to the symbols that you need to go to in the red dimension. There are two bells in the arena with four bell keepers. There are two bell keepers under each bell and once you kill the bell keepers under a bell, it will open the bell on the opposing side. Once you have your symbols memorized and the bell keepers killed, go to the red dimension and go to your corresponding symbol. Once you're there, kill all the ads, kill the colossus, and a centurion will spawn named Standard Bear. If you do not kill all the ads in your area, the centurion will not spawn. Once you kill the centurion, the flag with a symbol will spawn. You will collect it. Make sure you know you have it by the buff on the left side of your screen. Go back to the bell and teleport yourself back to the light dimension. Once you're back in the light dimension, slam your flags in the middle and you can kill the mini boss in front of you. Once you kill the mini boss, a second one will spawn with new symbols in the middle. Repeat the same process two times and the encounter will be over and you can go collect your chest. You are at the final encounter of the duality dungeon and this is the final boss that you need to beat in order to get your exotic sword. Before you do that, you need to know where the symbols are in the red dimension because it is very hard to find and if you are running around in the light dimension, once you get teleported, you might get disoriented. So here is a Michelangelo drawing of what the final boss room in the red dimension looks like. The green circles are of the light dimension and those are where the symbols will spawn. The drawing's perspective is basically from the rally flag. So top right would be axis, top left would be sun, bottom right would be chalice, and bottom left would be dog. So once you go into the red dimension, you have to know your orientation and where you are. There will be two symbols that spawn in the beginning around the mini square in the middle. There is also six bell keepers that will spawn. Each set of bell keepers killed will open the bell on its side, not on its opposing side anymore. It will open the one right beside it. So the right one will open right. If you kill the middle one, it'll open middle. If you kill the left, it'll open left. Once you kill them, memorize the symbols in the middle. There will only be two and then teleport yourself to the red dimension. Once you're in the red dimension, there is four bell keepers that spawn. You need to kill all four in order to open the bell to teleport yourself back. Once you get teleported and you have a symbol, let's say it's axis, you're gonna go kill the scion in top right. Once you kill that, a flag will drop. You can pick up the flag and you can go. If you kill the wrong one, your timer will go down. If you kill the right scion, your timer will go up. So make sure that you don't kill the wrong one. You can probably get away with killing one wrong one, but if you kill two, it's most likely a white. Once you get the two flags, teleport yourself back into the light dimension there will be an abundance of ads so make sure you do not go right away to slam unless you have a hunter invis clear the ads first and then go slam your flags one at a time repeat this process one more time and then you are at damage phase once you have four flags slammed in the middle the chains in the center will turn towards the inside of the mini square and will be shining. Once you shoot one of the chains, you will be teleported to the red dimension. Once you are teleported to the red dimension, it's a very fast paced damage phase. There are six bell keepers again in the red dimension. Two on the left, two in the middle, and two on the right. You wanna kill all six as fast as possible because the boss can go to any single one of them. If the boss successfully gets to a bell, it will teleport you back to the light dimension and you will have to start over the phase all over again. If you kill as many bell keepers as you can and he goes to one of them and the bell is open, you have to rush to that bell and once the boss is close to the bell, you're gonna shoot the bell and the boss will be stunned. Once the boss is stunned, that's your cue to do damage. After you do damage, the boss will go to a different bell, but the boss will be like sort of running. So if you're too late to the next bell, it'll teleport you back to light dimension and you guessed it, it's gonna go back to another phase. You can successfully get all your fire team members in all three bells and all three of you guys do damage, but sometimes it's not gonna be possible because sometimes the boss will move faster 
or you're too busy doing damage and you're late to the rotation of the next bell so sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice the people that are not inside the circle of the bell will not die but they will just not do the heightened damage that you do from the buff you get from shooting the bell and that is damage phase so you're gonna repeat that probably two or three times depending on what loadouts you're using and that is the end of the dungeon now we can talk about strats and what guns to use at each encounter for first encounter at galron it is good to use lament in my opinion the boss has very low health um rockets are not that good but i haven't done any damage testing for rockets i tried izzy rocket it wasn't doing too good because the boss moves around too much linears are the same thing the boss moves around too much if you can get double shotty off on mouse and keyboard you can do that but other than that i think lament is probably the best way to do it it's very easy it might you might do an extra phase than whatever the max dps weapon would be but it's safer it'll get it done there's no hassle and no stress for the second encounter there is a lot of ads so the best thing to do is to just have something for ad clear um ad clear supers if you need ad clear guns the mini bosses also has very low health so any gun you use will just be sufficient enough to defeat it and that's basically it for the second encounter there's not really much to it and for the third encounter i did two runs of the dungeon so far and the first one i used linears and they did pretty well um we were down one man so we were two manning it and we were like not even that low that much below the light level required we were like five light lower we did it in like three four phases with double linears so that's also pretty sufficient um the next run i did on my second character i did with lament and we had three people and that was pretty good lament is still pretty good on this boss and i mean i mean this boss has low health there will be damage testing done soon so anything i think rockets might be good but by how close you are by how close the boss is to the bell i don't think rockets would be that efficient because there is a chance of you blowing yourself up but other than that i think those would be my stress for now um i'm sure there will be new dps combos and everything like that for the whole dungeon uh, people have already solo flaws by the time this video goes up so that's insane um but i hope you guys enjoyed the guide and let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this kind of content make sure to subscribe and like the video if you want me to upload more stuff like this and that's all for now take care and peace